Hey everybody, this is John and Jackie of OpenLevel101.com and in our last video we talked about uh, what to do if you have a bad experience at a swingers club or swingers party and in that conversation one of the thoughts that came to my mind was an experience that couples have quite often and not only in the clubs but they could also be in their homes or a hotel room is when you're playing with another couple and you decide to swap and one of the men has a hard time staying hard. And that's something that we get emails about and phone calls about all the time. It's not an uncommon thing. So if it's ever happened to you, you're not alone. <laughs> no. It's happened. I can't say for, I can't speak for everybody, but it, it's, it's happened to me before. And there's a multitude of reasons why. And the importance of discussing it with your partner afterwards is, is key. Because sometimes I think, like in your case, you know, you might feel as though, we've had some other women contact us about this, they feel like it's them. Right. What am I doing? And Maybe I'm not sexy enough or I'm not engaging enough to uh, create the desired effect that I want mm. from my partner. So. so that can happen where that feeling sets in. Something else can happen uh, that can happen is maybe Jackie doesn't have a good time because the guy she was with couldn't stay hard. But I was able to stay hard and I had a great time with his wife. And that can cause feelings of envy, resentment, jealousy, you know, anything like that. Some bad feelings can crop up if your partner has a good time and you're not. And so it's important to talk about that as well. Um, you don't want to let those kind of emotions really get you down either. They can, right? And, and you know, fear might play a role in that. Um, so that's another aspect of someone not being able to get hard may you know, make the night not be fun because Jackie didn't get to have the same kind of experience that I did. Um, in times where I haven't been able to get hard, you know what I found is I'll just try and find some enjoyment out of doing other things like um, you know maybe going down on the person I'm with or just making out with her. Or take it, say, you know, let's stop for a moment. Let's just watch Jackie and your husband together. And have done that and have had, you know, great enjoyment in watching that happen. Well, and I think, too, that, you know, there's this fallacy out there that the only successful sex is intercourse. And, you know, that's just not, mm. that's just not true. I mean, let's, there's so many other ways in which to engage in, in sex. Uh, with a partner that does not need to involve that. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that can be done to women um, where that doesn't have to, to be the icing on the cake, so to speak, for the evening. And, and I do, I think Joan's right, I think it puts an incredible amount of pressure on the man. And, um, you know, not the... You know, not that everything's supposed to be even Stephen or, or fair or whatnot, but I do think that sometimes men can feel that pressure of having to perform so it's going to be successful. And that's just not always the case. There's, there's been several occasions in which John and I have played with our play partners where that issue came up and John was able to proceed and I ended up cuddling and kissing and, and talking and touching and really focusing on all of those other things that I can with that other person and have just as enjoyable of an evening because here's, here's the thing. I always know that at the very, very, very end of the evening, I'm going to have this too. So it's not <laughs> like I'm going to be missing out. <laughs> so. Right. And I've had the same thought, you know, so I wasn't able to perform like I wanted to with this new person that I know later in the night I'm going to be able to with Jackie. And not even necessarily later in the night. There, there have been times where I would decide, hey, let's, you know, I'll, I'll tell whoever I'm with, you know, I'm going to be with my wife for a few minutes and then Jackie and I will make out and I'll, I never have a problem performing with her. That's a great, that's a great point. You can always go back to your, your partner. You, you know, there can be this tag team mentality. It's like, okay, everybody switch. <laughs> so once I get hard with her, then I can stay hard and get with, you know, the other, the new play partner. When Jackie and I are together, of course, you know, we're married. We don't use a condom. Now we're with a new couple. 
and I got to put a condom on. Well, I mean, maybe we haven't played in six months. I haven't worn a condom in six months. That can be a buzzkill, you know, getting that, opening the package, putting it on, you know, now a little time goes by. Oh, I've got it on upside down. I got to turn it around. <laughs> it's so frustrating. And once I hit that frustrating point, man, it's really hard to get hard again. I'm telling you. And so, you know, I got to go to Old Faithful over here. <laughs> and yeah, young Faithful. <laughs> <laughs> but there's things, you know, those are the options that you have. And, and it's important to be understanding if it happens to you, to be understanding of the guy that you're, Jackie knows that. You right. know, it's just right. to be loving because you don't know what the situation is. You don't know what's going on in his life. Maybe, maybe he's having some stressful things going on and that can play a role too. Right. Um, there are so many, maybe he's not eating right. There is Maybe that. he forgot to take his Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be so many things. So it's it's important for the woman, I think, not to think that it's all about her. Right. Of, because probably nine times out of ten, it's not. Right. And, and if it is that one time out of ten, then, oh, well, you know, you move on to the next one or you communicate it with the person you right. see. Yeah, you make the best of it. I yes. mean, after all, like I said, and I've said this a gabillion times, this is about enhancing the relationship you have with your partner. Right. So take those opportunities that maybe you don't think it at the time are really stellar and and learn to build from those. You know, I've I've had this experience. What can I learn from it? What's it teaching me? How can I maybe it's maybe it's about empathy. Maybe it'll, you know, create an opportunity for you to practice some empathy with someone else. So. And if you guys have any questions or comments about this video, you want to, you know, you have some other insight, please send us an email or a note on our website at openlove101.com and sign up to our newsletter as well. And we'll send you updates on our blogs and videos. In the meantime, see, see ya. ya. Great job, Jackie. And if you like that video, please click the button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll give you plenty of more. Plenty of more? <laughs> <laughs> <Kidding me? laughs>